Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic and today I've got a D-stash slash friend mail haul to share with you guys. So my friend Tara from Tara's Fragranced World here on YouTube so kindly picked me up a few things from the most recent Swanky pre-order. Didn't need a thing, but she asked me and she was just like, hey, I know you love one of these scents. Do you want me to pick anything up for you because I'm going in to place an order? And at the time I was trying to be good. And so I was just like, yes, you know, I'll just grab that one. Well, then I ended up looking at the list and I was like, I have two other souffles. Do you mind picking them up? And, you know, I can just send the money, whatever. And so she so kindly did that. So instead of just sending me the three souffles in true Tara fashion, she sent me a box full of wax. So um, if you want to see what I picked up from the Swanky pre-order or what she picked up for me in the Swanky pre-order, as well as the sweetest random act of kindness friend mail from Tara, then please grab a snack and grab a drink and let's chat wax. Okay, you guys, let's start with the things that I got in the Swanky pre-order. Tara, thank you so much again for offering to pick these up for me and then getting them in and sending them to me as well as all of the other things that you surely did not have to send. It is much appreciated. I just love Tara. We've been friends for a while now and she's so supportive of everybody in the community. You'll always see her commenting on videos and she is just the sweetest person ever. So I'm pretty sure you're already subscribed, but if you're not already subscribed to Tara, she will be linked in the description box as well as in the title of this video. Please run over to her channel and subscribe. You will love her content. She is just a sweetheart. And um, so let's hop in to these three souffles from Swanky. So first up, this is cornbread cream cake. So I really like Swanky's cream cake. And then I really like cornbread if it's not too savory. I like a little bit of a sweeter cornbread. Um, depending on how it's blended though, I could pretty much take it anyway because I just love bread scents in general. But oh my goodness, this is stunningly beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. And I haven't smelled any of these yet. I haven't smelled anything in this box. So this will be first sniffs. And I will link Swanky their Facebook group and their website down below. I think she's getting ready to open another pre-order soon, if I'm not mistaken. I love Swanky's Wax. It performs really well for me. I will say, though, some of the bakery is lighter, but I much prefer her, like, perfumey, cologne earthy, woodsy types of blends. Um, but I will say her buttery toast and jam performs very well and it's just a bakery scent so i think it just depends it's kind of like teddy bees it depends on the scent if it's just bakery it may take a little more cure time or be a little bit lighter but for swanky her wax is so beautiful and it is so fun to chop you guys know i hate chopping but her wax cuts it's not super soft but it's soft enough where you don't have to microwave it and it chops I mean, you can chop the most perfect cubes. I like to chop swanky with not the crinkle like cutter. I like to do like the straight edge and it just looks like the perfect little cubes, like almost like sugar cubes. It's like that, that size. It's just perfect. But anyway, back to this blend, I'm sorry. Very chatty today. This is so good. This is a sweet, but also kind of savory cornbread. And the cream cake adds more of a sweetness. It's very rich, creamy cake note. It's gorgeous. Yeah, that smells really strong on cold. So I have high hopes for this one. That is cornbread cream cake. I apologize, you guys, if the lighting is off. Uh, this is during the day. It's about four o'clock. And my mother-in-law so kindly has the kids for me right now. And the house is clean. I have no kids. And I'm just like, I don't even know what to do with myself right now. So I was like, might as well film because I don't get a lot of time to do that unless the kids are sleeping. And then sometimes it's like really late night, early morning when I'm filming. So I thought I would go ahead and try to catch up on filming, maybe get some editing done tonight as well. So I apologize. The lighting's kind of crazy. It's a little like overcasty today here too. So that's not helping much. 
Okay, next I grabbed cashmere and snowflakes, brown sugar and fig, and warm vanilla sugar. Y'all know if you've been watching me, I have been loving fig and like dark, juicy like berries, plum, fig, things like that. And um, so this one just kind of spoke to me. I like cashmere. I'm not sure what cashmere and snowflakes is. Is it like a Bath and Body Works dupe? But I love brown sugar and fig and I love warm vanilla sugar. So I thought, you know, it's kind of screaming at me to get it and look how beautiful that is with that star glitter just gorgeous okay so i'm definitely getting cashmere the warm vanilla sugar is very sweet and then i feel like the brown sugar and fig is what i'm getting the least and i honestly thought i would smell that the most i do smell it but it's kind of in the background and I feel like the cashmere with the warm vanilla sugar is giving me more of a creamy body care vibe. And then that brown sugar and fig is in the background. Hopefully it will come out more on warm though. But it's such a nice combo. It's very body care perfumey. It's very bougie smelling. Mm, it smells really nice. So that's cashmere and snowflakes, brown sugar and fig, and warm vanilla sugar. Really excited for that one. And then lastly, I just got Fireside, which one of my favorite scents from Swanky is Fireside Cream Cake, which is just Fireside blended with the cream cake. And I love it so much. So I thought, you know, I'll just try the Fireside on its own. So gorgeous. I don't even know what the notes are in this, but. Yeah, it's like a subtle smoky scent. It's not like your house is on fire smoky. But it's there's definitely a little smoke in there. It's very rich. This would be like a perfect like a nighttime scent on like a cold fall or winter night. It kind of smells like a legit fireplace. The fire's not blazing. Maybe it's just like hot embers. Oh, it's really nice though. Y'all know I just love a good atmospheric blend and this is just me with a blanket in front of the fireplace watching a movie on a cold winter night. It smells great. It's very cozy. So happy to have that on its own. That is Fireside. I just get glitter all over my nose probably but y'all are used to it by now <laughs> okay and then these are the things that tara so kindly gifted to me she is so kind tara thank you so much you are so generous and i so appreciate all of this flax i'm so excited to smell it so first up from brita's we have twitches black amber and lavender plumeria and cotton candy frosting i have smelled this before but i can't really remember it so, always happy to have more, especially with lavender. So, I'm getting like a middle of the road lavender, and I really get the cotton candy frosting. I'm actually not getting a lot of plumeria. Plumeria is a pretty strong floral. I don't know if it's just blended with that cotton candy, and it's adding like more of a sweetness to this blend, but the plumeria does not stand out to me. This is gorgeous. I'm basically just getting the lavender and cotton candy frosting. Not mad about it. It's just like a sweet lavender. But the lavender itself to me is more of middle of the road lavender. It's not super herbal. It's not super sweet. But the cotton candy is kind of making it seem a little bit sweet. But yeah, that's really, really, really nice. That is twitches. And this is the perfect size for like a nighttime blend in my bedroom. I can cut it into like four pieces maybe. So that is Twitches. Love Britta's. Thank you so much, Tara. She sent a few things from L3. The first is waffle cone funnel cake, which yes, I love waffle cone and I love funnel cake in wax and to eat in real life. really pretty i love waffle cone it's so hard for me to explain what it smells like because i always say that it adds texture because it's like i can almost taste it it smells so realistic 
you know, waffle cones are crunchy, the crispy crunchy. So it's like I can smell that and taste it at the same time. So weird, I know. But yeah, it's sweet and a little bit like and rich. And then the funnel cake does not have any cinnamon in it at all, which is how I prefer it. It's just a really nice bakery blend. Waffle cone and funnel cake. Thank you so much. I know L3 is like closing, so people are really hoarding what they have. So I appreciate you parting with these, Tara. The next one is Bad Wolf and Bora Bora, which I don't know what the notes are. If I can find them, I'll put them on the screen here. This is very tropical fruity like guava or passion fruit. It's a very sweet tropical fruit. Yeah, it smells like Bora Bora. You know, I've never been there, but what it, what I think it would smell like. It's very tropical, and I'm super into, like, B2 Tropical Scents right now, so thank you so much for that. From Rose Girls, she sent me a mini melter bag of strawberry shortcake which I don't know if I've ever had this. I've had strawberry pound cake and I've had strawberry um, streusel kuchen. I don't know that I've ever had strawberry shortcake. This smells like, you know, those strawberry shortcake dolls that smelled like strawberries. This is what this smells like. It's kind of like an artificial, almost like a chapstick, like a strawberry chapstick smell. But I really like it. It smells good. It's just, it's, I, I smell this and I think of the strawberry shortcake doll when I was little or like Lip Smackers strawberry chapstick. You guys know what I'm talking about? Probably showing my age really, really bad right now. But yeah, it smells good, but it's more like an artificial strawberry, but I'm not mad about it. That smells really fun. Strawberry shortcake. It's very nostalgic for me with the strawberry shortcake doll and Lip Smackers. Okay, and then next up from Rose Girls, she sent Scream Queen, which I've never tried before. I've never even heard of this blend before, but the notes sound amazing. Fig, plum, blackberry, apple, labdanum, cedar, and musk. Labdanum, is that how you say that? Sorry if I just butchered it, but that sounds so good. I don't know what labdanum is, but all of those other ones sound right up my alley. Yes. So fig, plum, and blackberry. Those are like the dark, juicy fruits I'm talking about. Like, I'm just so into all of those notes. The apple kind of brightens it up a little bit, sweetens it up. And then the cedar and the musk just give it that outdoorsy vibe. This is gorgeous. I would totally get a mini melter bag of this. This will be perfect for fall when you're like tired of cinnamon, you're tired of leaves, you're tired of pumpkin. This is a good like fruity blend that screams fall in my opinion. Like I like to warm blueberry scents in the fall for the same reason because it's just like how much apple and pumpkin do I really need to warm, you know? But that is so fun. Oh my gosh, Tara, thank you so much. I love that. Scream queen. Definitely late to the game, I guess, on that one. But I've been grounded from Rose Girls all year. I haven't purchased so far. Doing good. I've been tempted a few times, but I've held out. Next from Lavender and Speckles, this is Strawberry Pound Cake and Paulo, which is one of my favorite scents. I love Beth Strawberry Pound Cake, and her Paulo is my absolute favorite out there. It's the creamiest, smoothest Paulo gorgeous and the her strawberry pound cake is something special i think it's like a house blend that she like blends her own oils to make the strawberry pound cake and i know she's got a little bit of lemon in there this is just the most beautiful i warm strawberry anytime but to me if you're a seasonal melter and you only do it in the summer this would be appropriate for fall because of that polo so good. This is a favorite of mine. So thank you so much, Tara. I know you love strawberry pound cake as well. So thank you for parting with this. From Super Tarts. Oh my goodness. She sent Amityville, lavender, strawberry, and mac apple. How have I never tried this? How? Amityville. Love the name and I love the notes. I mean, that just says, screams my name right there. 
Thank you so much, Tara. I know how much you love Super Tarts and how hard Super Tarts is to get right now because she's only doing RTSs. And Super Tarts has a really pretty lavender. It's not super sweet. It's not herbal. It's just like a perfect middle of the road lavender. This is so beautiful. And her strawberry is really good as well. Strawberries, I can be a little finicky about sometimes. So yeah, and I don't get a whole ton of the Mac apple, honestly. It's like a sweet lavender, but it's not a sweet lavender, but it's lavender sweetened by the fruit notes. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Tara, thank you so, so much for sharing this. I think you like this one too, because I know you love Mac apple and strawberry and you like lavender too. So thank you so much for parting with this. This smells amazing and I can't wait to warm it. From Harper James, she sent cherry cheesecake, cheesecake, sweet cherry, and graham cracker crust. I love cherry in wax as long as it doesn't lean like cough syrupy or medicinal or anything like that. Yeah, and this is a true like bakery maraschino cherry. It's very sweet and it's it's there. Like it's like, hey, you know, it's front center. The star of the show is that sweet cherry. Gorgeous cherry. I don't get much of the cheesecake. Maybe just kind of tones down the cherry a little bit. And I don't get a whole ton of the graham cracker crust. But hopefully it'll come out on warm. This definitely smells like a cherry bakery. I feel like it's not just cherry. I can definitely smell that there's something else with it, but I can't really detect that it's cheesecake or graham cracker crust, if that makes sense. Mm. Really lovely though. I can't wait for that. That is beautiful cherry cheesecake and it's super strong on cold. Oh, this one sounds good. Also from Harper James, she sent sun-kissed nectarine. I really like nectarine in wax especially for me not liking citrus. Nectarine really shocked me. I like nectarine and I like grapefruit um, most of the time. So I'm really excited for this one. Nectarine, coconut, and vanilla. Love those bright, fun colors. Yeah, so nectarine to me is like orange, but it's not as obnoxious. You know, it's, it's not... Maybe it's a little bit sweeter and it's not as like acidic citrusy as an orange. Probably not making any sense right now, but I just love nectarine. It's like fresh and bright without being obnoxiously citrus. It's like the wallflower of citrus fruits or something. The coconut's not really strong in this one. It's more like giving a creamy vibe mixed with a vanilla. I don't smell a whole ton of like tropical coconut or anything like that but it's kind of just like a creamy citrus, not like a creamsicle because I really don't care for that smell in wax. But the nectarine almost gives it like an effervescence and then you get the creamy coconut vanilla with it. It's really pretty. This will be perfect for spring and summer, so perfect for right now. So I typically don't do a lot of bakery in the summer because I don't really want something heavy when it's 98 degrees and the humidity is making it feel like 120. So I think this though is bright and fresh. And so even if it's like super hot outside, you could totally warm this. That's what's good about citrus scents. So Tara, thank you so much. Those are both amazing and I can't wait to try them. And then from Teddy Bees, oh my gosh, she sent Blackberry Boardwalk. I love this scent. And Tara loves Blackberry. She loves Beach Treats and Sweet Lavender. So I'm shocked that you sent this, Tara. This was so incredibly kind of you. This is one of my favorites from Teddy Bees. I feel like I say that about every scent because I just love Teddy Bees so much. This is Blackberry Boardwalk, Beach Treat, Sweet Lavender, Blackberries, and Plumeria. And I was scared of this one because of that Plumeria note. But honestly, Tiffany is such a master blender that while I smell it and I know it's there, it's not overpowering the blend at all. Yeah, so I get the beach treats, I get the lavender for sure. 
And then the blackberries are there and the plumeria just gives it a little hint of like a sweet floral. Almost just gives it like more of a body care vibe. But this is gorgeous. I think I have like one souffle or like a part of one souffle. And y'all know how I am. If I only have one of something, I'm not going to warm it. So I'm glad to have this. And it's already chopped, which y'all know I don't really like to chop wax. I just can't be bothered. So thank you so much, Tara. I just, I hope that you didn't send this and you love it. Um, but I don't know how you couldn't because I know you like all of these notes. So thank you again so much. That was so kind of you. And then the last thing that she sent me is also from Teddy B's. This is a souffle of Witches Be Crazy for Pistachio. And Witches Be Crazy is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio dream cake. This is one of my favorites, which I know I just said that, but truly, like y'all know, I love pistachio. And her Witches Be Crazy blend is super popular for a reason. It's a banger and it's a really beautiful bakery. And then, you know, bakery with pistachio, like say less. Look at this fun color. So gorgeous. So the pistachio smells amazing. It is a creamy pistachio. So that pistachio ice cream is really standing out to me. Pistachio dream cake is very, very strong and sweet, like artificial pistachio. And while I do get hints of that, I feel like the pistachio ice cream is what I smell the most. And then you have that nice base of the Witches Be Crazy with the sweetness from the birthday cake and the pecan waffles. This is gorgeous. I think I have a tub of this, but I've never warmed it. And this was just poured in November of last year. And I always like to let my Teddy Bees cure for like nine to 12 months. Typically, if it's bakery, it's 12 months or longer. So I cannot wait to warm this this fall winter. That is Witches Be Crazy for Pistachio. Tara, thank you so much for all of these amazing scents. When Tara sends Happy Mail, she just goes the extra mile and chooses scents that she knows that I would like or that I've been wanting to try or I don't know. She's just so thoughtful when it comes to wax. Not that people who just send a box of wax aren't thoughtful, but I mean like she like hand picks and curates the box and it's just amazing and I can definitely tell and Tara, I just appreciate you so much. Thank you for your friendship. You are just the sweetest person ever. Again, friendly reminder, go run to Tara's channel, Tara's Fragranced World, and go subscribe. You will not be sorry. You will love her content. She is just precious. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend. Please don't forget to like and comment. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.